OK, so we're looking at the AND rule from my iMaths question two. And um, it's about people having different eye colours from two school classes, uh, class 12A and 12B. So the A class and the B class. So in class 12A, there's three different colours, blue, green and brown. And in class 12B, there's uh, different eye colours, blue, green and brown. So it's a good candidate for a tree diagram, this. Now, let me just show you how not to draw a tree diagram. So one, two, three from blue, green or brown from the A class. And then the B class can be blue, green or brown, blue, green or brown, blue, green or brown. And I've kind of run out of space um, because everything's crashing into itself. So the smart thing to do is to realize that it's going to end with nine things, three times three. Um, and then go from the right of the diagram leftwards. So space out nine things evenly, join them together in threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you get a nice evenly spaced tree diagram. So I'll just get rid of all of that and here is a tree diagram I made earlier to represent this situation. So we've got the first level of the tree diagram here is the people in the A class, 12A. Um, so they've got a 10 out of 40 chance of uh, picking someone with blue eyes because it says in the question, in class 12A there are 40 students, 10 have blue eyes. So you've got a 10 out of 40 chance of picking someone with blue eyes. Two out of 40 for green and 28 out of 40 for brown. That's in the A class. Having done that, you're picking someone from the B class. So if you pick someone from the A class, let's say they've got blue eyes. Um, then in the B class, the probability of another blue is 24 out of 50 because there are it says uh, 50 students in the B class, 24 have blue eyes, 24 out of 50. Uh, green, 2 out of 50, because there are 2 with green out of 50 in the blue class. And brown, 24 out of 50, because 24 have brown out of 50 in the B class. And those probabilities are the same irrespective of whether you picked blue first or green first or brown first because your first pick isn't affecting your second pick there they're statistically independent from from one another you can say they're independent from one another because um uh, because they're different classes so you're picking from a different pool of people the a class and the b class so picking a blue for example from the a class doesn't mean uh, that you've got fewer blues left in the B class. OK, so um, the probability of a blue followed by another blue. So you've got a 10 out of 40 chance of a blue in the A class, 24 out of 50 chance of blue in the B class. So you get the combined probability of a blue followed by another blue by multiplying those, which you can see I've done here. Probability of a blue followed by blue is 10 out of 24 times, uh, sorry, 10 out of 40 times 24 out of 50, which makes 240 out of 2000. So that's just top times top, bottom times bottom. That's how you multiply fractions. 10 times 24 over 40 times 50. Now that fraction could be simplified, but I'm actually going to leave it out of 2000. Um, for reasons that hopefully you'll see soon enough. So I've multiplied all of these out um, along the different branches of the tree diagram uh, to get the probabilities of all the possible outcomes. So blue, 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 green, blue, brown, green, blue, green, 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 brown, brown, blue, brown, green, brown, brown. That's all of the nine possibilities picking two people from 
uh, each of the two classes. Um, so I've, I've added them up. Um, I haven't added them up yet, but I've multiplied them out. And if you add them up, uh, it should come to 2000 out of 2000, which is, of course, the same as one, uh, because one is the probability of an event that is certain to happen and picking someone from each of the two classes you're certain to get one of the outcomes in this diagram blue 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 green blue brown green green whatever uh, because the diagram covers all of the possibilities you're certain to get one of these so the first question says what is the probability that they both have blue eyes well, I already talked about that. Um, so the probability of a blue followed by another blue is um, 10 fortieths times 24 fiftieths, which is 240 over 2000. 240 over 2000 means 240 divided by 2000. So if we do 240 divided by 2000 as a decimal, that comes out to be 0 0.12. OK, the next question says, what is the probability that they have different colour eyes? Now, we need to bear in mind the fact that there's a few different ways that that can happen. So let's just um, think of a few of those. Um, so just get a nice highlighter there. Um, let's make it yellow. Why not? OK. So um, different colour eyes can happen a few ways. It can be... Uh, blue then green with a probability of 20 out of 2000 it can be blue then brown with a probability of 240 over 2000 it can be green then blue with a probability of 48 over 2000 it can be green then brown with a probability of 48 over 2000 it could be brown then blue with a probability of 672 out of 2000 and it can be brown then green with a probability of 56 out of 2000 so because those are all either or possibilities they'll have different colors if it's any of those or the next one or the next one or the next one we're adding those up um, so here's something i did earlier so i added them all up uh, the probability that they're both different is all those different numbers out of 2000 added up. Remember, when you add fractions, you want the bottom to be the same, 2000 in, the, in this case, and then you're just adding up the tops. And that comes out to be uh, 0 0.542. So let's just put that in the box. Of course, there is a slightly smarter way we could have done that. Um, we could have just thought about all the ways they were the same blue, blue, uh, green, green, and uh, brown, brown, and subtracted that from one because the probability of them being the same plus the probability of them not being the same has got to come to one because it's going to be either of those and that covers all, all the possibilities. So we're certain to get either both the same or, or not. So it might have been a quicker calculation if you spotted it to... Um, to subtract from one all the different ways they could be the same um, but there you are okay going on to uh, the last bit of the question what is the probability that only one of them has brown eyes now again this can happen a few different ways so we need to um, take that into account so let me just see if i can get rid of that okay so only one of them having brown eyes that could be blue then brown with a probability of 240 over 2000. It could be green then brown with a probability of 48 over 2000. It could be brown then blue with a probability of 672 over 2000. Or it could be brown then green with a probability of 56 over 2000. So I did this earlier, of course. Um, so I added up all of those numbers out of 2000 and I got to 1016 over 2000, which as a decimal, top divided by bottom, 1016 divided by 2000 is 
0 0.508. So let's just type that in and mark it. And 8 out of 8 for that question.